Hi, Debbie Lima's here from North Andover, Massachusetts. I have to say, there is nothing like a sweet ending just to anything, especially dinner. So today I am going to show you a rugula that is one of my favorite little pastries that I enjoy with tea, coffee, and right after dinner. I decided to make it with a combination of flavors and I'm going to use here I'm going to use ras I'm going to use raspberry jam I'm going to use cream cheese of course our star ingredient here's an egg for our egg wash some chocolate chips and then some sugar to put on top so our arugula is actually going to be a raspberry chocolate Rugula, and I'm going to show you how I make that. I've taken some cream cheese and I'm going to spread it over my rolled out, ready to use dough, pie crust. I'm sorry. Now, I didn't add any sugar to this because the chocolate chips and the raspberry preserves is going to add plenty of sweetness, so we don't want to make them too sweet. Now I have to tell you, I have to share with you, sometimes we have dessert before dinner and it is such a fun treat. So it's a way to get started for dinner and it's a great way to end dinner. And I am always looking for new ideas and recipes to bake for my family. I um, The kitchen always invites me in when it's raining outside. I really, I don't know why. But that's, I, I find that every time it's rainy or snowy, and up here in the Northeast, we've had a lot of rain lately. So you know I've been busy in the kitchen making treats for my boys. Okay, we're almost done spreading here. We'll try to spread it all evenly. Something I also like are cheese danishes, and so that's how I came up with the idea of adding some, some cheese to the rugula. And also, I have to also mention that I sometimes have crackers with a little bit of cream cheese spread on it and then some of the jam whether it's raspberry or strawberry and it's, re it's really good. Okay now what I did with this, the raspberry spread here is I put it in the microwave for maybe about 30 seconds just to make it a little bit easier to spread. There we go. Look at how quickly this is going to go. And they're going to come out really, really good. <clears throat> Such a nice, sweet treat. Alrighty. And I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. And then it's already waiting for me. I'm ready to go. Okay. Now, I have my little gadgets here. I have to share this with you. I'm like a little, ga I'm a gadget lady. So I have this pastry cutter and has ridges on it that I'm hoping that it's going to make some some nice designs on the end and then I'll show you what I'm going to use all my other little gadgets for it just makes cooking that much more fun okay here we go I'm going to I'm sorry I just want to spread this out really really good so we get a little bit of sweetness in every bite so I'm going to cut this maybe in about 16, I'm going to try to get 16 out of these. I'm going to make mini arugulas. There we go. And then once I cut this, I'm going to add the chocolate chips. Okay, and then here we go across. And the wonderful thing about this is you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just roll them up into a cute little shape. Okay. Here I have about a cup of chocolate chips, semi-sweet I decided to use. And I'm going to show you how to roll up a, a few of these. Now here's my cute little spatula, which is perfect for this kind of project. So I'm adding some chocolate chips here. And then you just basically take whichever end will work and just roll it up. Like I said, it, it doesn't have to be perfect and then we'll put them on a cookie sheet an ungreased cookie sheet there we go here I'm going to show you another one I can't wait 
wait to taste these. I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and enjoy a couple of these right before I go to bed. Right after dinner and before I go to bed. Here we go. Here is another one. Okay, I'm going to continue to roll these up, get them on the cookie sheet, and get them in the oven. I can't wait. I'm whipping my eggs here. I'm making an egg wash, and I'm using my little teeny whisk here. So cute. So I'm going to put this over here in the sink, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to egg wash the top of these little pastries. It'll just give it a nice golden color, and I'm going to add a little bit of sugar on top of it to give it a little bit of a crystallized look. Here we go. These look so good. They're going to be so cute. Can't wait to try one. I have had these pastries. Just I buy them at the supermarket and I bring them home. And I always said, you know, I need to try to make some of my own and try to create my own flavors. I think my favorite one that I've had so far is the raspberry with the cinnamon nut on it. And now I'm having an opportunity to create my own. And I've had these before and they're just so good. I know that you're just going to really like them. Now I'm going to take some sugar and I'm going to sprinkle it over each one. And it gives it a little bit of a crystallized look when they come out of the oven. It gives it that almost professional look, I guess you could say. Looks like they come from a paste from a bakery. And then we're going to pop them in the oven for about, I want to say, 15 minutes at most. Depends on what size you make them. I have a little bit of different sizes here. But that's okay, because that's what adds the at-home look. Okay, I'm going to put them in the oven. Again, they're at 350 degrees. Put them right in the middle. And we'll keep an eye on them for the next 15 minutes. Hello, here we are again in my kitchen. The rugulas, my raspberry chocolate rugulas are finished. My house smells so wonderful, almost like a bakery. And I love the smell, it's just it's so inviting. It's almost like home sweet home smells. Uh, here they are, I have them cooling off. Look at how beautiful they look. They have a nice golden color. And I made myself a cup of tea as I had promised, and I'm gonna try them in a second. But first, I want to offer you a tip that, um, it's important to designate a ruler to your kitchen, especially when you're baking. This way you can measure and things would come out more evenly and you can cook everything more evenly. So hopefully you'll take that tip into consideration. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try these. Look, look at the chocolate and the raspberry right in that. Oh, so good. Mmm, what a wonderful combination. I know you're going to like this. I have to say, sweet treats from my kitchen to yours.